Good afternoon, Vikings. This is your still bulletin for April 23rd, 2021. Today is National Picnic Day. PBIS Club. Hey, PBIS Club will be meeting today at 1.30 p.m. Google Classroom code is 3KHS3LR. Hey, Dance Club. Meeting today at 1.15 p.m. The link is in the Google Classroom. Our classroom code is EE4EE3S. We are continuing to work on our dance video, so don't miss out. New members are always welcome. Just add the code and watch for updates on the Google Classroom and in our meetings. Mental Health Moment. Enjoy this hashtag mental health moment on movement, expression, and wellness brought to you by Dance Club. Get up and move today in any way that brings you comfort, joy, or calm. If you choose to post on social media, be sure to tag at NSHS underscore PBIS. My name is Ashley Lawson and I'm a junior here at NSHS. I am currently participating in the environmental club and the dance club. Hello, I'm Marali. Hello, I'm Gabriela Puga. I am a junior at NSHS and the publicist for the dance club. Hi, I'm Miss Oliver. I'm the dance club advisor and our mental health moment topic today is on movement and expression and its relationship with our own personal well-being. Some activities I'm involved in are band, fashion club, track and field, and dance club. Some of my hobbies are painting, traveling, hiking, running, skating, and yoga. Hobbies that I have that are related to movement and expression is painting, sketching, taking photos, also as going on hikes, going on long walks, and running and dancing. Movement and expression has allowed me to work through some of the hardest parts of my life. It has allowed me to express my feelings and it has allowed me to kind of step out of my head momentarily. When you engage in activities where you can either move or express yourself, you're allowing yourself to expand and to grow as a person physically, to grow artistically, to learn how to develop your voice and communicate. Movement and expression are important to me because they give me energy, they get me out of bed in the morning, they feel my energy, and it's just how I cope. I remember times in high school, I would come home from class and I would just be so tired, and then when I had to go to dance practice or soccer practice, I would almost feel anxiety or resistance to go. As soon as I went, it was a completely different feeling. I was just re-energized, and I had this ability to let go of my stressors for a moment. When I participate in these outlets, they make me feel happy and calm. They help me stop overthinking everything. I get like a wave of relief running through my body. It, it just boosts my confidence by giving me a form of accomplishment throughout my day. When I'm able to participate in these outlets, usually my confidence boost goes up because I'm doing something that I love doing and as well as I feel happy and usually when being part of these outlets any worries or stress that I might be feeling are gone in that moment in time. What I like most about dance is the friendships that you form and how over time they're not just friendships anymore but they turn into little families. My favorite thing about dance is that you don't have to use words to explain how you feel. With running, I just love how it gives me some time to think. Most of my thinking I do while running. What I love about expression is that there's so many different forms it could take and there's not really a right or wrong answer to how someone expresses itself. And I just love seeing how different and unique everyone is when expressing itself, whether it be in a way of movement or in an artistic way. I just love seeing how everybody's so different and the different forms of expression everybody takes. Having the ability to express yourself or to move and to have those outlets, to me is the power to really process everything that you experience. And it gives you the skills and the perspective to handle things that happen in your lives. Lastly, some advice on how to make time for these activities in your life is to plan or to not procrastinate, you know, do your homework or projects or whatever you need to get done. I make time for these activities by thinking of them as a necessary part of my schedule. It just became a natural habit. I just feel like they're so important 
especially as a student since they just help relieve so much stress. I truly, truly recommend running, dancing, playing an instrument, going outside, just getting out of bed in the morning. Especially during a pandemic, doing stuff just can be really, really hard on you. But even getting out of bed in the morning, doing something can just make a really big difference in your life. Hartnell, are you interested in taking classes at Hartnell this summer? Join the counseling department workshop today from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. on Google Meets. Juniors, are you a current junior interested in applying to four-year colleges this fall? If so, we encourage you to take advantage of this great opportunity to receive free additional support. The Salinas Union High School District will be hosting a virtual Jumpstart to College Summer Camp this year, which will run during the following dates and times. Tuesday, June 1st, Friday, June 4th from 3 to 6 p.m and Saturday, June 5th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Signups are on first come, first serve basis, so sign up today to secure your spot. The registration link will be found on the NSHS counseling page as well as the 11th grade Google Classroom. This is our hybrid schedule that starts next week. Ask your advisory teacher if you have any questions. Seniors, hello seniors. The ASP class wants you to share your plans for after high school with us. We want to be able to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments with the other students at North Salinas High School. Please fill out the form in the Grade 12 Google Classroom. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Mr. Reich or Erica Ferrer. Attention seniors, your senior class officers have opened the store for you to purchase yard signs and other cool items to show off to the community that you are graduating from North Salinas High School. The store closes next week, April 30th. The link is below. Athletics. Fun Friday at home, boys soccer taking on the Trojans while softball hosts the Eagles. Move inside and the basketball teams will host the Trailblazers. So much fun heading into the weekend. Go Vikings! College Signing Day. Monterey County is hosting their first annual College Signing Day on Monday, May 3rd from 1.15 to 2 p.m. This event is meant to celebrate seniors throughout the county as they commit to colleges for next year. During the event, there will be raffles, prizes, live shows, and more. To participate, you can follow the steps listed in the 12th grade goal classroom, which include RSVPing by April 27th and submitting your personalized sign and portrait. You can also find more details on the College and Career tab on the North Wales High Counseling page. The link is below. Today, we're celebrating Marily Escalante. In the fall, she'll be attending Hartnell College and majoring in sociology. At North High, she's a part of AVID, Dance, PBIS, and Link Crew Clubs. She also participated in cross country and track and field. We are also celebrating Mel Lopez on her commitment and acceptance to Fresno State University, where she'll be majoring in construction management. At North High, she was part of the wrestling team. Congratulations to you both. From the Viking family, we wish you guys the best of luck for your future. And the Viking Creed, never give up, stay focused on yourselves and others, and stay positive. Have a fantastic Friday, Vikings.